Hello everyone, Castor here with another Streamlabs chatbot video. Today we're gonna look at one of my scripts called CLP for short and Castor's lazy pack for long. This is a script that adds a lot of parameters to the bot, like the tweet, YouTube information, Twitter information in a shorter version than Read API can do. And it also adds a bunch of parameters from different bots like Nightbot or Deepbot. I will put a link in the description below to a list of all the parameters that's in the script. So to get started, we have to install the script. I will also put a link to a tutorial on how to install scripts if you don't know how to do that. After that, we can just click on the script, we gotta enable it, and then we have a bunch of different options here. The first one is an help one. You can open the readme.txt, which is really useful in case you need it. So Basically, you press here and it's open the txt, and you can scroll through all the parameters that's in here. There's also some example commands for all the new parameters that you can just open these ones up. It's pictures, so you can just have a look at them. The next thing we have is time and date for the custom time and date parameters. So you can customize the format for both exactly as you want to. And if you don't know what all these characters mean, they have a meaning and they are explained in this date and time help. It will pop up a box which tells you exactly what they all do. Moving on, we have general tab, which is for now just excluded from C random users. Basically, you pick a random user and you can exclude someone if you want to. Moving on to song requests, we have a checkbox to have song requests and sr response basically when someone uses sr or song request without the use of a song name artist id or link behind it will tell them information on how to request a song and then we have the response here that you can customize as you want then we have weather if you want to use imperial you check this checkbox and if you when I use the metric system, you uncheck this one. Then we have usernames. We have the Twitter username down here. And then we have the YouTube ID up here. For the YouTube parameters to work, you need to insert your YouTube ID here. As The same goes for the Twitter username, of course. And if you're unsure on how to find your channel ID, all you gotta do is Press the button below, locate YouTube ID. It will pop up a window here, which will prompt you to log in. And when you log in, you will see channel ID. It should, it should be the lower ID of the two. Then we have some more Twitter options for the Twitter parameters. It's basically, do you want to include retweets or not? If not, check this one. Do you want to include URL to the tweet? Check this one. If you want to shorten the URL, check this checkbox. Do you want to have the time passed since the last tweet announced as well in chat? Use this checkbox. And then you have click the tweet message. And then you have set click the tweet response if it fails. And the last one or the last two things is the APIs. The script is using a lot of APIs. To call for the different functions and you can customize them here but i wouldn't recommend doing so doing so may very well break some of the parameters and the last one we have here is volume volume in percentage of for all the sounds used using the dollar sign sound parameter there's a few things here and i'm gonna walk you through two of them it's the dollar sign gif and the dollar sign sound because that's the probably most confusing parameters, and I want to make sure you understand how to use them. So the first one is dollar sign gif, and basically what we have to do to use this one is first we have to right-click the script, insert API key. It gives you a warning, and we have to accept this. When we've done that, what we have to do is go into the scripts folder, and we can do that by opening sounds directory and then just go up one. 
and we will have index.html. This is the file we want to open up in our OBS or expert. I'm using OBS myself. So what we're going to do when we have done that is I'm going to pull in OBS here, but not enough for you to get the horrible effects. So I got the testing scene here. That's completely empty. I'm going to add a new source. It's going to be a browser source. I'm going to call this one CLP. I'm clicking OK. Then I have to lo use local file. Use an extra checkbox. And I want to use this one. So I can copy paste this one. Copy this one. Put this one. When I copy that one, I press browse. Then I can paste this one up here. And it will bring me to this exact folder. And I just select index.html. Then we got to refresh once, or maybe twice, depending. We're fine. Sometimes it's a bit finicky in OBS, but if you just open it up again and refresh it, it should go all blank. Which is what we want, because, well, you typically don't want to have a big OBS box on your screen. So the next thing we want to do to use the GIF is to go into custom commands. I'm going to use a test command here. I'm going to create a command using dollar sign gif opening parentheses and then I want to paste the link to my gif. So I'm just going to grab a random gif link here real quick on my other monitor. It's going to be a link directly to the gif. So something that looks a bit like this in the browser. We're grabbing this one, we're posting this one here, then we want to use a comma, and now we want to put the duration in seconds for how long this GIF should be shown on the stream. I want this to be shown, let's say, 8 seconds. And then we have a closing parenthesis. We submit this one. So everything should be set up now. I'm going to make my... Chatbot a bit smaller so you can see. It should be right here. Let's make this one a bit bigger. Why not? And now when we do external remark test, it shows up on the OBS overlay. And let's say you want to have a sound to go together with this one now. When I do the test command, I want to have a sound play. Then I have to do a few things. I'm going to go into the scripts again. And there's a button to open sounds directory or sound directory. Click this one. It will bring you to a folder where all your sound files needs to be. So I got a test.mp3 here. Well, I can use this one to test the parameter. If you want to add more files in here, go ahead. Just remember that you need to use the name and the format of the file for it to work. So basically what I want to do is remember this, test.mp3, go into my custom command, we edit this one, and we can add dollar sign, sound, opening parenthesis, test.mp3, and we're closing it, and submit. And that's it. Now we should hear a sound and we should see the GIF when we use XML test. Four, three, two, one. And that's it. Thanks for watching.